incident response as i told you before incident is what like any event that went that has an adverse effect so in this incident response we do have certain phases this is given by like also like your nest which has given uh sp8006 if i'm not wrong something like that so these phases are there preparation detection analysis containment eradication recovery and post incident activity okay um in preparation phase when you talk about see the point is guys preparation means like first of all we have to always make sure we are prepared for everything isn't it like um like um for example see the first thing first would be like we will make sure that we are protected from an attack right our preparation would be that that attack won't happen on the very first place isn't it i hope everyone will agree with that you also prepare for an examination so that you won't fail in it prepare for the interviews as well right so preparation means like first of all we'll make sure that we won't fail or any attack won't happen on the very first place now the thing is preparation also means that in case if an attack has happened how are we going to handle it right so your policies procedures playbooks guidelines everything will be part of your preparation having a team for it having appropriate tools for it everything will be part of your preparation make sense okay implementing security controls defining policies for the same procedures having a guidance how to handle those incident going with the simulation practices and everything will be part of your preparation so first our priority would be that attack won't happen on the very first place in case if that attack happens how we are going to handle it will also be part of a preparation how like efficiently we are going to handle it then we have detection and analysis we identify like see in case if an attack has happened now if any incident occurred we have to also detect it right so we identify any potential security incident and we determine their scope their cause and impact so basically we detect that incident that okay there is an incident in our uh, environment and we analyze like we also uh, like verify okay this is the true positive right we will be also classifying what kind of an incident it is maybe like sql injection cross site scripting like that and also we'll prioritize it as well that see low medium high you know like that what kind of a priority it will be having okay then we have containment containment simply means what after detection analysis good for the containment containment uh ah uh, containment is isolation okay see for example when we talk about in terms of your corona time okay if we talk about corona um what happened when a person got infected with the corona virus we put that person into an isolation ward right why do we put that person into an isolation ward what was the reason behind that so in order to see now we are doing what containing it right so that it won't spread out similarly what do we do in case see in organization all the systems are connected with the same network right correct if one system got infected with the malware chances are very high that malware will travel in the network and infect other systems as well so in order to uh contain that spreadness or that impact of an incident we perform containment over there for example we'll cut out that system from the network okay now uh we have or oh, sorry uh just again okay, chitra ai is also helping us to do the same thing that automation isn't it so then we have eradication eradication means removal or remediation of it so that malware like okay what we did we put that system into an isolation ward or like sorry containment zone and then we you know so that won't spread it and then then we'll be analyzing that malware and remove that malware like you know fixing it up with a patch that thing then recovery so in case if any data was lost in that particular system you will be using the backups and put that data back into the system so that it can start performing its business operations okay so that will be recovery like recovering from the backups recovering using the data data backups now 
the arrow is pointing out towards again detection analysis that is like for a while we will be monitoring that system which was infected and we'll see if there is any reoccurrence of the similar activities or any other system is there which is in uh, behaving misbehaving for the same reason in case if they misbehave for the same reason then again we have to go from the same process detection analysis containment education recovery okay Then we have post incident activity after that. This is like a lesson learned. See, every stage, every phase will be documented, whatever activities has happened. In post incident activity, it's like a lesson learned where we'll be, you know, analyzing all the activities which we have done, how we have handled that incident, how we contain it, why that incident happened in the first place, uh, what vulnerability was exploited, what was the root cause of it, you know, everything will be documented, everything will be looked out for it. Like, you know, we'll sit around and have a meeting discussing for the same like how we can do better um do we need to ref uh, redefine the policies procedures new security controls need to be added uh, or not you know everything will be discussed over there and as per that we we'll take the decisions and whatever decision we take will again will be part of your preparation only so if we added new firewall new security control it will be preparation only because it was gonna strengthen our security so here we make sure that such kind of incident never happens again and also the similar ones never happens again in our environment so in a nutshell these are your phases of incident response chitra we can't we can't get up now okay is it like reporting is done reports you create the documentation reports are created Okay. Perfect.